Hello everybody, this is Budrich and I think this might be the most Bud Labs video ever. <laughs> because I will do everything here in a really short amount of time, hopefully. Um, first uh, and foremost, this is what I am doing uh, personally right now. I'm, uh, As I mentioned in the last video, I'm uh, trying to make this i3s dev uh, organization on GitHub, which you can find on i3s dev. Um, a little bit more friendly and um, one of the, the most important thing of course is to document that so um, this is all starting to fall into place it feels really good I think this will be great when it's done and it I also feel it will not take as much time as I uh, uh, first anticipated whatever uh, because this video is not about this of course it's um, yeah, I just happened to stumble upon this, uh, um, I think it's a quite new program here called Herbie on uh, GitHub, which is really, really nice. I, I can't believe why something like this didn't exist before, but whatever. It's uh, it's like uh, dance, you know, it prints a notification. Uh, I, I, haven't, I haven't installed or tested this, but I just looked at the source really quickly and, and, and yeah, I just understand what it is what, uh, whatever this video isn't about this either but you know danced it looks like notifies and this is a danced message and there we can see I get a notification here uh, but what we also can notice here is that we have to uh, create this notification by uh, executing this notify send command and it is handled by dbus which is uh, I don't want. I don't even want to talk about it. Uh, that is what does this, and that means that any applications uh, creating notifications, which can happen for all kinds of reasons, you know, it will use, uh, it will ping, and, and you will see this uh, notification. How you have set it up with Dunst, but this is. Um, this doesn't use uh, Dbus or a daemon. Instead, it have a dedicated command. Herbie here, uh, which is the name of the program. So to create a notification, just do do like you you would do with notify send, but instead you would write Herbie here, and then it would create just a notification that isn't bound to any notification daemon or anything. All of this might sound like weird. Why would anyone use that? But I think this is really really nice stuff, especially if you add uh, because I I plan to. Yeah, now I got one more thing here on my to-do list, but I don't think this is difficult at all. Because what I want to do right now to configure this, uh, you edit this uh, header file here uh, and set the, the width and the X and Y position of the notification. Uh, you can also set the font uh, in, in this uh, header file here. It would be so cool if you could instead pass the positions here. That is how, that, that's a feature I always missed in, in Dunst or, or anything else here. Uh, a way to pass uh, the position as command line arguments also. And then you could also pass a different font size and stuff and have different notifications for different uh, occasions and, and stuff like that. And that is really something that I have been looking for in this uh, just adding the, those command line options uh, to this program shouldn't be uh, difficult at all. I think even I can can do that. So that's something I will try to do. But another thing I did here, because I just found this randomly. Uh, it was like someone else had stored this uh, I saw on my GitHub feed or whatever. So I also took a look here. Who, who's this guy, you know? Samuel Dudik. And Samuel Dudik had a homepage, so I clicked that link. Got to his homepage here on GitHub, and then I could see he had two blog posts. You know, I, I'm the kind of guy, you, you might might think, who, who is reading all those personal blogs, you know? Budrich is reading those personal blogs. And here we can see uh, Reddit old design without logging in. And this is something I made a video about uh, a while ago, because, you know, Reddit, uh, now I have, like, Reddit main page here open. We can open Unix port. Um, because everyone loves and knows Unix porn, right? Unix porn. It opens Unix porn here. Uh, but uh, we can also see that it opens Unix porn uh, 
we can see the URL, uh, maybe it's hard to read, but it is old.reddit.com and that is because I am using this uh, extension called Redirector, which is a great extension. Uh, prior to using this, I was using like a custom um, JavaScript redirector thing that was much slower, but this is actually quite fast and, and good. It's actually very good. So just quickly, if we open uh, the edit redirectors here, we can see here is um, it uses regular expressions so you can redirect uh, uh, URLs. So instead of going to normal Reddit, it goes to old.reddit.com. But uh, our friend here, um, Samuel, he have found a different way of doing this that uh, requires zero um, zero extensions or anything. Uh, apparently you can actually do this if you have a Reddit account then you can just uh, go to some Reddit settings and, and uh, uh, disable the new redesign. But uh, I, I didn't even know you could do that and I don't have a Reddit account. Uh, but with this method you can do that without having an account or even being log logged in or anything. Because what that setting uh, in Reddit does, uh, now I cannot really show it here, but let's uh, disable redirector here. And then we open Unix porn again. I think I have to do this reddit.com slash r slash Unix porn. Now you'll see it will open it in, in normal Reddit here, and it will also take a lot more time. Yeah, it even bore, yeah, it's really, really not nice. I, I don't like this design. It take, it's much longer load time uh, for once, you know, um, because now I have redirector disabled. But with this method, and it is, it is uh, very easy to fix this, uh, what you do is you add a uh, uh, a, your, a cookie that will set this setting. Uh, this cookie will get created if you have, a, have an account and uh, enable this setting. It will create this uh, cookie on your uh, local storage or whatever you know. Uh, but we can create this cookie manually and then it will automatically redirect uh, to, to the old reddit design without changing the url to old.reddit and it's also it's even faster than using redirector here um, the drawback is of course you have to keep track of this how to do that and stuff and but i will write this down in my little uh, vivaldi rice uh, repository add a link to this uh, little blog post here but whatever let's do this together uh, so it says here that we should go to reddit.com uh, the main page. Uh, it's important that it is the main page and not Unix form like this. So reddit.com. Same thing there. Takes a long while to load. Loading up the trending. No one wants. No one cares. You know. It's so slow. Um, and when we have this page open, we open uh, DevTools, so Control shift i or F12 or whatever, but Control shift i is what I pressed here. And then, now it is open here already because I was just doing this. But uh, it might not open the correct tab here, and apparently, um, you know, this is a very old blog post here. It's, it, it's written uh, 15 July, so it's, it's, it's about three weeks old or something here. And they have completely redesigned the dev tools once again here it looks like so so the the instructions here uh, uh, aren't exactly as uh, how, how it works uh, now and that's not a critique uh, to the blog of course it's a critique that they sh completely redesign and change everything everywhere all the time so annoying um, but what you do is you open this application tab here in the developer tools and you might need to uh, resize the window to see that applications tab. Well, now we see it because it, it was active, but it might look like something like this, you know, when you open it. And then just resize this till you see this uh, application tab there. Click that, expand cookies, select reddit.com. And then the instructions here tell us that we should create a new cookie here. And I, I spent a lot of, lot of time trying to how to create a new cookie. There's no new cookie menu entry, no plus sign, nothing. I think here, here it says right click add item. That, that doesn't work at all anymore either. So instead what you do to create a cookie is you click this 
You click here, double click there, and then you enter the name of the cookie here. The name of the cookie is redesign underscore output. So redesign underscore output. And you set the value to feels like I re yeah re design. Okay, and then you set the value to true. Uh, it's also recommended here, uh, it says that you should change uh, the expire time to something stupid like 2100 or something. O otherwise, the default uh, expire time here, it's hard to see, but it expires session. And that means that this cookie will get deleted when I uh, uh, close the browser now. So I would have to do this every time, but you can set uh, like a different year here. And uh, not sure exactly how you should write this timestamp. So what I did, I just copied one of one of these. I had a bunch of cookies here. Uh, maybe this is sensitive information. I doubt it. Uh, but here we have one that expires 2000 or 2030. So in 10 years, uh, that's fine. So let's just paste the same expiration date here. Press enter. And now we have uh, our new Reddit cookie here. If I would reload this page, pressing F5, we'd reload uh, reddit.com. Well, probably made a typo anyways here. God damn it. Let's uh, copy paste this guy who knows how to spell things. No, oh, it looks like it should. Okay, maybe. Maybe it doesn't work on, on well, what happened there? reload. There, uh, I made a Control Shift R reload. But now we can see we get the we get the old uh, design of Reddit, uh, and of course I also have all my Reddit special CSS here. So it would probably look like something like this by default, but that's still better than the new uh, redesign, you know. Uh, and if we go to a different subreddit, for example, our Unix art, we will see that it will use old Reddit, not use the new redesign without us having to redirect anything or uh, doing something stupid like that. And um, yeah, just wanted to make a video about that. So you got a couple of uh, nifty little tricks there. You got uh, this Reddit thing and also Highly recommend checking out this um, uh, Herbie Herbie program here. I haven't, as I mentioned, I haven't tested it myself, but it it just looks like uh, it it should should work. I will definitely try to fix this um, uh, as I want it uh, with command line options to pass the, the the positions that that would mean a lot to me. For for example here, what I will use it for is um, go out here, uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, this is, we can go there. I don't know, I got a bunch of, bunch of music videos here and I have set it up like this. If I select uh, multiple uh, uh, files at the same time in uh, Thunar here for example and then I press delete you see this red thing here the square with the, all the files that is um, this is Dunst uh, and what I do here is that I reload the whole Dunst daemon with a new uh, configuration that tells it that it should display uh, the Dunst notification here with a smaller font if I select no here or nothing, then it will not delete anything. And then it, as soon as I close that menu, it resets uh, dance to its uh, uh, normal layout. But what, what this means is that if we do this again, let's see if this works. Uh, it might not work. No, it closes the menu immediately. So it's, it barely happens. It, it, it have, I don't think it have ever happened, but if an application would print a notification while uh, this configuration is loaded here, it would use the same configuration and print the notifications at this location with this font and stuff. And yeah, things get weird and it's also a very inconvenient way to, to uh, constantly change uh, uh, the notification like this. 
if I instead could use like Herbie for this uh, thing here, because in, in one way this is not like, this doesn't have to be, uh, have, have to use any uh, debuff or notification demon at all. I, it, I think this is great. This is very cool stuff and something I will experiment with. And I also thank Dudik here for this uh, little cookie uh, hack here. I need to also learn, I know now how to add cookies again. I think I've done this before, but then it was a completely different uh, way because redesigns. Okay, whatever. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.